I am here today with Pak Jamarjan, the CEO of the Borneo Orangutan Survival Foundation, or better known as the Boss Foundation, to talk about climate change, COVID-19, and what they mean for the future of orangutans. Hello, Pak Jamarjan. Hello, Andrea. Thank you for joining me today. I have a couple of questions for you. The first one is, what is the current situation in Boss Foundation Rehabilitation Centers during this pandemic? Yeah, uh, around the world, we face the problem with the pandemic COVID-19. In Indonesia, over than 6,000 confirmed cases and 100 in Kalimantan. Orangutan in our center, all good at this time, at least. We are grateful that there have been no confirmed COVID-19 in our orangutan in our staff too. That's the good news. We apply strict protocols in handling animals and also how about our staff works. We rolling schedules with two teams, expanded quarantine procedures, we using more protective equipment for the, our staff, and extra disinfection, non-essential staff, they have to work from home. Just only staff working with the orangutan still working in the field. So why is it necessary for boss to take all of these extra precautions? We take extra precaution is uh, because the orangutan likely to be susceptible to the virus that caused COVID-19. Orangutan closely related to humans. More than 97% of our DNA similar with the orangutan. And it could be make the orangutan more fragile to the same disease that, orang that human has. Other apes have, a con have a contact with the coronavirus in the past, but we could see there are transmission from humans to the other species too. It means we don't want to take the risk because we don't know how deadly this virus to orangutan. We don't want to take the risk. That's why we make extra precautions to our operation. That does sound like a dangerous situation for the orangutans. What are the biggest challenges that Boss Foundation is facing during this pandemic outbreak? Uh, <clears throat> with this pandemic or COVID-19 pandemic situation, more problems we face than before. We face difficulties to buy the personal protective equipment. It's not easy to get sorry, uh, mask, and we need to use more masks to protect our staff from genetic diseases, especially for large population of orangutan with chronic respiratory disease in our center. They are rely on us completely for lifetime sanctuary care. That's why we need more masks. Logistics, such as vitamin, hand sanitizer, now is not easy to find, hard to find, and the price increase. Maybe we have not enough budget to buy it, but in the other side, the price increase and make the equipment become more expensive than before. We have total 29 unreleasable orangutan with the problem air circulatis and ORDS. They are more likely very susceptible to COVID-19 transmission. And with the pandemic, more the economic crisis now, recession coming, it means we face the problem the, the, the common problem in our center and others uh, rehab center, we face the problem lack of funding now because of the situation. A lot of more, more people now lost their job, more people try to keep their money, and it makes us has a problem, face the problem with the lack of funding. And the other one is. We know 
there are so many people has the asymptomatic people that they can spread the disease. No, no symptom. And they thought they are free from coronavirus, but they could be the carrier. And it can make us face the problem more than we thinking. Uh, we need to protect our staff. We want to make the rapid test to our staff, but it's not easy to make the test to the staff in our center, especially because in our staff, there are no symptoms till now. As you are aware, COVID-19 is dominating the news, but, to, but we don't want to forget that today is Earth Day. And the main topic on everyone's mind is how we can combat climate change. Is the COVID-19 outbreak related to climate change in any way? Yeah, uh, climate change is putting pressure on ecosystem like never before. Increasing human contact with wildlife, which puts us greater risk for genetic disease transmission. More people going to the forest and more uh, animal out from the forest, but it doesn't mean there is no transfer disease from human and, and the animal. That's the other one of the risk. And it's continue. We could see more pandemic like this in the future because when you cut more forest, there are no habitat for animal and the white animal will come to us. The fire should be in that animal in the state in the forest, but when you cut it, you make them coming to us. That's why uh, we are afraid if you not control the, control the cutting the forest, and not try to combat the climate change, maybe we will see more cases like pandemic, like COVID-19 in the future. That's my opinion. Specific to Indonesia, how is climate change impacting ecosystems in Borneo? More people say there are climate change already coming, but more people say they cannot feel and see it. But in Borneo, we feel it. We see it, we saw it. In the, in the dry season, you could see more fire coming. In the rainy season, more flooding coming. It means we see more extreme and climate disaster years by years and for now it's bigger. That's why uh, we could see the impact of ecosystem in Borneo. They make forest fire coming more frequently and it means loss of the forest and loss of the biodiversity in the forest too. So do orangutans have the potential to influence climate change? Orangutan is the key species. We, uh, in some case, we always explain the orangutan is the umbrella species in the forest. When you protect the orangutan in the forest, you protect more biodiversity in the forest. And orangutan is a part of the ecosystem in the forest. You cannot put orangutan out from the forest and keep the forest like it was and still thinking the function of the forest still the same. Why orangutan is so significant meanings in the forest? Orangutan has the significant role. They spring the seed and make the forest healthy. When the forest healthy, all of the benefit will going to human. Orangutan can mitigate the climate change. They have to make forest good, and when the forest good, they absorb more carbon dioxide and combat the climate change. That's the function of the orangutan in the forest. That means if we protect the orangutan in the forest, we can mitigate the climate change and a lot of benefit going to us as human. So all of this information is quite heavy. What does the future hold for orangutans? We need to make the orangutan stay in the forest. And if you want to protect orangutan, we have to protect orangutan in the forest. But till now, deforestation and the pet trade, the pet trade is not slowing fast enough. The pet trade and the reforestation not reduce like 
we hope. And the other problems, more than 70% orang utan living beyond the protection forest. It, and what it means? It means orang utan living in the fragile habitat because we human need that habitat like the orang utan need. That's why we thinking to working together. And the other side, when we talking about the climate change, when the climate change coming, the forest beyond the protection forest is more fragile to get fire and another impact because human wants that forest. And that's why in some area, you can see the local extinction, but we afraid with the truly extinction, extinction. When orangutan habitat destroy and orangutan cannot live in and they are extinction from the world, we cannot see the orangutan anymore. We could see orangutan in the books only like other species that already gone if we are not working to protect the habitat. So how can we stop extinction? What are the solutions to this problem? If you want to stop extinction of the orangutan, if we love the orangutan, we have to work in hand in hand. We have working together to protect the forest. If we not protect the forest, the habitat of orangutan <coughs> forget about extinction of the orangutan. Because of that, because of that, we have to work in together, public, government, private sector. NGO, we have to work together to find the solution, how we can protect the forest and orangutan habitat. We have to work in with the company that working for the outside protection forest. How we can do that? We can buy the forest and protect them and keep them as a forest. NGO cannot do it alone. We have to work in together. And when we protect the forest and keep the forest, even that forest beyond the protection forest, it will help us to reduce the climate change. And the other one, we have to educate people how important orangutan function in the world. When you help the orangutan, you help yourself. That's why you have to help the orangutan. And from the COVID-19 case with the outbreak, we change a lot of our lifestyle. We can live in with the new lifestyle. Our new lifestyle is reduce our carbon footprint. We're not going anywhere using car or others. You don't have to cut more forest. You don't have, you don't have to dig in more coal. When we do like now, we reduce the climate, uh, the emission. When we reduce the emission, you can see more forest growing better. Means you get some lesson learned from the COVID-19 on how we change our lifestyle. Thank you for all that you do, but how can orangutan supporters and orangutan friends around the world help out in saving orangutans? Yeah, like I said before, <clears throat> We have working together. When we are working together, we can make the real change. When we make the real change, we can do like first one, we change our lifestyle, become greener. And try to do anything more orangutan friendly by reducing the waste, buying products that are sustainable palm oil or another sustainable brand. And the other one, we spreading the word and we get more people about change their lifestyle. And we have to communicate to our government and other company 
to encourage them to take action against climate change by helping orangutan stay in the forest. And the other one, you can support our works. You can support both foundation works on orangutan conservation. Why you choose both? Because both foundation working with orangutan activities in the forest. Our main goal is to keep orangutan stay in the forest, protect them living in the forest, protect more forest, planting more trees, because we need to make orangutan habitat become bigger and bigger. And by using that activities, we can mitigate the climate change, we can combat the climate change, and we can make the orangutan living in the forest. When we make orangutan living in the forest, lot of benefit coming to us, non-timber forest products, oxygen, water, and we will have orangutan forever. They are not extinction when we are working together. And the other one, all of us has our smartphone. I request to all of you, please using your smartphone as smart as you can. Spend not more than one minute every day. Just share and like what we do to conserve orangutan to protect orangutan and to protect the forest. Spreading the information to the world that together we can do more to help orangutan and to help ourselves by mitigating and combating the climate change. We can do it together. It has been a pleasure talking with you, Pastor Martin. Thank you so much for your time and your informative answers. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>